chapter 62. For Zion's sake, I will not keep silent. For Jerusalem's sake, I will not remain quiet till her righteousness shines out like the dawn, her salvation like a blazing torch. The nations will see your righteousness and all kings your glory. You will be called by a new name that the mouth of the Lord will bestow. You will be a crown of splendor in the Lord's hand, a royal diadem in the hand of your God. No longer will they call you deserted or name your land desolate, but you will be called Hephzibah and your land Beulah. For the Lord will take delight in you and your land will be merry. As a young man marries a maiden, so will your sons marry you. As a bridegroom rejoices over his bride, so will your God rejoice over you. I have posted watchmen on your walls, O Jerusalem. They will never be silent day or night. You who call on the Lord, give yourselves no rest, and give him no rest till he establishes Jerusalem and makes her the praise of the earth. The Lord has sworn by his right hand and by his mighty arm, Never again will I give your grain as food for your enemies, and never again will foreigners drink the new wine for which you have toiled. But those who harvest it will eat it and praise the Lord, and those who gather the grapes will drink it in the courts of my sanctuary. Pass through, pass through the gates, prepare the way for the people, Build up, build up the highway, remove the stones, raise a banner for the nations. The Lord has made proclamation to the ends of the earth. Say to the daughter of Zion, See, your Savior comes. See, his reward is with him and his recompense accompanies him. They will be called the holy people, the redeemed of the Lord, and you will be called sought after, the city no longer deserted.